bitte ich Sie um einen warmen Applaus, um einen Riesenapplaus für die Tiger Lilies. Hello, welcome to Copy Berlin, and um, we are tonight at the Bar Jeder Vernunft um, in the Mitte, next to Zoologischer Garten. And tonight there's going to be a performance of the Tiger Lilies, and we're sitting here next to Martin. And hello, Martin. Hi. Martin is preparing for uh, the show tonight and was so kind to give us the option of interviewing him. Um, uh, first question, um, uh, the tiger lilies. What are the tiger lilies and since when? Absolutely thrilling. And uh, and then I, um, uh, then I played that and um, uh, very soon the, the, um, uh, there was a big division within the group. Um, uh, can you put that music out? Um, uh, oh, great, put it louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a very controversial style you're using. I mean, uh, y your voice is uh, very particular and plays one of the major roles. And yeah. um, Klaus Nomi, um, Farinelli, um, uh, how, how, how did that develop? Or did you start already like that? Uh, we've been, uh, we've been, well, we're, we're three musicians. And um, Adrian Hughes, who plays the drums. Adrian Stout, who plays the uh, the bass and the theremin and the saw, and uh, me, Martin Jack, who plays the piano, sings and plays the accordion and ukulele, and uh, we've been going for about 20 years, and we play a kind of a, uh, a very strange style of music, I guess. I suppose it's probably uh, it would be um, called um, it's, it's generally called avant-garde cabaret by. Um, um, people in the, in the press, I guess. <laughs> and I don't know whether that's true or not. I don't know whether it is avant-garde cabaret, but, uh, but anyway, that's what, that's what it tends to be called. My, um, um, when I told my um, uh, colleagues about the tiger lilies, um, uh, they were, oh, great, great, great. And, um, and, and then very quickly when I put um, uh, Sex with Flies um, on, which I um, uh, saw in the Saarbrücken um, at a ballet, um, awesome. I personally consider it as awesome. Oh, um, right. you saw it at the Saarbrücken Ballet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. That yeah, uh, was. Yeah. And and um, uh, so so how did um, uh, how did you, um, uh, your your um, uh, voice develop, or was there nothing as a development? Did you start already, like Nomi oh, did with your just, high pitchy uh, sound? I, I, uh, I can, I've I've <clears throat> I've always experimented with my voice, and um, he was um, you know so. I, so I could always sing with a high voice, and I could also sing with a low voice, and I experimented with it. And um, so I just uh, eventually, at about the age of 30, I just decided that uh, I would um, um, sing with a high voice and play the accordion. Um, I bought an accordion. That was what actually what uh, sort of cemented it in a way. So I bought this accordion. At about the age of 30, and then I thought I'll, I'll play the accordion and sing in a high voice, and then I did that with and, and formed the Tiger Lilies at that time, and uh, yeah, you know, and that was that was pretty much the the, the blueprint for it, you know. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I I was very um, and then I th musically I liked very much uh, the Three Penny Opera by uh, Rept and Vile. Didn't like anything else that uh, I don't like anything else they do, they've done. Particularly, though, they actually there were some. They've written some beautiful songs, both of them actually. It's after the Three Penny Opera, but as a piece of music that was um, with Lottie Lenya, the the German version really with Lottie Lenya singing, uh, it was just such a great piece of music that I uh, decided to um, yeah, you know, do something, play the accordion, sing in a high voice. Big inspiration was the Three Penny Opera, and then after that, things like Jacques Brel. So it was pretty much this kind of um, Brechtian cabaret idea, really, and uh, I guess, that, and that was that was about twenty. That was twenty years ago, and uh, put that together, sang in a high voice, you know, sing with this high voice, and and then I suppose over the last few years I've kind of been experimenting with the low, my low voice. I've been actually starting to sing with a low voice as well. And stop playing the accordion so much. So I'm playing more piano now and ukulele as well. You know, try to sort of change it a bit, make it a bit, move it on a bit, make it a bit different. 
but uh, yeah, I guess that's that. That was it was the the concept really. How, how, how did um, uh, I mean you, you? What 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 strikes me the most? I mean you're talking about um, uh, brothel, um, whorehouses, prostitutes, mm. um, slaughtering. Um, very 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 three penny opera. Really. Very three penny opera, definitely. Yeah. And um, uh, but um, uh, sex with flies, so that's domestic. That's taking it a bit further. <laughs> I guess. But, yes. but you know that, that, that's obviously that sex with flies thing is is, is going further. Um, but you know that's uh, obviously I, I, I I'm not I don't, I'm not interested in being a you know I'm trying to you know we've been going for 20 years you have to uh, yeah you, know, you have to keep looking around for inspiration and I just had this idea of doing a whole al album which is called Farmyard Filth and it's pretty much about um, just a whole album about having sex with uh, various kinds of animals you know and or, or falling in love with animals not necessarily sex with them. And falling in love with animals, and so it's just a, you know, it's uh, it's an interest. It's probably I don't know how many people have done albums like that. You know, it's probably probably I might be the only one. I know? think so. I think you are the only one. I mean, I did uh, some research and hardly. And of course, any. for me, that's uh, that's that's sort of you know that's nice. You know, that's quite important when you're an artist. If you can if you can actually uh, do something which uh, nobody else is, has done, I think you're onto something really. Uh, so, yeah, I'm I'm very into that sort of. I, I've always been very much interested in in doing something original, you know, like doing something which nobody else does. And I think uh, that's something which, for me, I've always had a high, you know, like premium on doing something which is original. So for me, so like doing an album of where you're about having sex with or falling in love. With various singing tender love songs, there's a love song I did, for example, which is which is called Sheep, you know, and it's actually it's not about having sex with a sheep; it's actually falling in love with a sheep, you know. It's more, it's uh, it's actually quite a tender than about a girl, you know. And I mean, how many how many love songs have been written about girls, you know? I mean, you're probably talking millions, almost. Whereas, but probably I may have written one of the very few about sheep and that gives it validity in, you know for me to, to, to write a tender love song about a sheep. Yeah.